Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. Ladies and gentlemen, a question, if I may. The word mentor, who knows where the word mentor comes from? Not many classical Greek uh, studiers here, I see. Mentor was, in fact, an advisor to Telemachus. Telemachus was the son of Odysseus, also known to the Romans as Ulysses. It's where the word Odyssey comes from. And Telemachus was appointed by Odysseus to look after, sorry, Mentor was appointed by Odysseus to look after his son Telemachus because he knew he wasn't going to be around. In fact, quite frankly, Odysseus was pretty crap as a dad. I know that earlier uh, Nick was a bit concerned that he had not learned the lessons of his father. Well, I have to say, I would be really glad if I hadn't learned the lessons of my dad, if my dad were as bad a dad as Odysseus. Let me give you a couple of examples. Odysseus spent his entire life, pretty much, out exploring and discovering and, and generally being a sailor and doing all those things. He left his wife, he left his son, he left his city-state behind, and much of the reason that he spent so long away was because he was an arrogant sod who did stupid things like, we've all heard the story of, of the Cyclops where Odysseus and his, his crew are washed up onto an island and they meet the Cyclops and they stab the Cyclops in the eye with a burned stick so that the Cyclops can't see anything. And the Cyclops says, who's blinded me? Who's blinded me? And Odysseus says, ah, nobody has blinded you. Wouldn't give him his name. So the Cyclops went through the next little while thinking that somebody called Nobody had blinded him. Well, Odysseus and his crew were trapped in a cave by the Cyclops. This, this is actually important. I'll get to the reason why in a moment. And he wouldn't let them out because he was going to eat them. They were going to be his breakfast. But instead, Odysseus and his sailors managed to sneak out by hiding under the sheep of the Cyclops, whose name I can't pronounce. It's one of those Greek names, Polyphenius or something. Anyway. They manage to escape and they sail away and the Cyclops goes, oh, who did this? Who did this? And, and Odysseus, not being able to help himself, shouts out, ha, ha, ha. It wasn't nobody who made you go blind. It was me, Odysseus. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, you know, because he just couldn't help himself. He'd forgotten, I suspect, that the Cyclops was the son of Poseidon the god of the oceans. And I got to tell you, that came back and bit him because Poseidon gave them a bag of winds, which opened the winds, the north wind, the south wind, the east wind, but not the west wind. The west wind would have taken them home. No, they open the bag and it blows them all the way back. Well, the, so it took them another 20 years to get home. That's the sort of stupid thing that Odysseus did. Those are the lessons that Telemachus, I might tell you, did not learn because he had a much more intelligent mentor in mentor. Now, I have to tell you that over the last 40 years of my working life, I've had a number of mentors. Some of them have been formal mentors. For example, at a radio station that I worked at, there was my first news director when I was appointed as a full-time journalist. Now, Tony, Tony Bartlett, didn't suffer fools gladly but he gave me advice, he gave me assistance, he gave me training, he gave me room to grow. Yes, when I made mistakes, sometimes he would let me know in no uncertain terms how disappointed he was, but he was always willing to provide support and assistance and advice. And in fact, to this very day, only a couple of months ago, I had reason to chat online to Tony about journalism and he was still, 40 years later nearly, offering me some really good advice. That was a formal mentor from whom I have learned a lot. Another was my first real mentor in Toastmasters when I joined 40 years ago. Now, I haven't been a Toastmaster for 40 years. I'm not quite as big a masochist as some here in this room. But I first joined about 40 years back. And there was a man who gave me advice, assistance. And it was really useful. And I happened to catch up with him two or three years ago. He was the outgoing district director for a district just south of where I am now. And again, he was providing me to this very day with useful information. So from those formal mentors, I have learned stuff and I still value the advice. But, and I get back now to Odysseus. I've also had mentors from whom I have learned things that perhaps I would be better not to have learned. 
I have observed behaviors that I am much better not to have emulated. I also have to tell you that occasionally I did emulate some of those and that didn't do my career. It didn't do my Toastmasters. It didn't do me any good. I'm now past the age of 60. I'd like to think that I've reached an age where I can actually look back on my life and think, yeah, yeah, that was a good move. Yeah, that wasn't a bad move. Yeah, that wasn't a particularly bright move. And the advice that I'm giving to my protégés now, because like all Toastmasters, I, I have mentors, but I also have protégés, people that I give advice to. The advice that I'm giving my protégés is, this is my experience, this works for me, but you will have to decide for yourself whether this advice meets your particular needs, your particular lifestyle, your particular requirements. When we get mentors, ladies and gentlemen, and we will, when we get protégés, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll continue to do that, please bear that in mind. The advice that is coming from a mentor to a protégé, the advice that is being received by a protégé from a mentor is just that advice. Please take that advice with a grain of salt because sometimes the mentors are going to be like those mentors that I spoke about who have been particularly valuable to me. But sometimes they're going to be advice from people like Odysseus and much better a mentor than an Odysseus because quite frankly, when you make those sorts of mistakes, make them your own rather than somebody else's. Venom Toastmaster.